Okay guys, we're back for another quickie review. This time we're going to be uh, reviewing the Walters Scene Master uh, 26 foot parcel trailers uh, decorated for UPS Freight. Uh, I, did, I have not took them out of the package just yet. We're going to be doing that. Um, so but I wanted to show them while they were still in their packaging where you can get, get a good look at the package, packaging. Uh, as you can see, they're very well packaged uh, where they won't bounce off of each other and get damaged. Uh, so Walters does a real nice job packaging their stuff. So uh, anyway, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take these things out of the package and we have a car, our trusty old well car and if you think, uh, for those that uh, might not know, this car can actually uh, haul trailers because it does have the hitches in it. Uh, it's what they call their all-purpose car. So, and, and this is also a Walters car, by the way. Much You've seen this in other videos. So, uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to unbox these, stick them in this car, and uh, we'll... Uh, what I'll do, well, here, I'll just turn the old camera around. Maybe it'll set up for me. Maybe. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is we're just going to I'm going to hook my fingers in there and try to pull that off. These are kind of glued in there pretty good, so uh, as you can see, we got it pulled off there. Uh, this may be different to how some people unbox these, but uh, my methods may be a little bit more crude. So, but anyway, we're going to take these out of the package and we're going to look them over real good. So, I'm just going to unbox these. And I have to be careful, by the way, because uh, I don't want to drop these while, while I'm filming. So, if you if you can't see them, uh, see me unboxing these real good, I do apologize. But uh, for the safety of my trailers, I don't want to damage them. So because I do want to order at least two more packs of these. Uh, these are uh, they're not going to be for this well car. Uh, however, if they look good enough, there's one of them right there. So. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and set this off to the side. Since they're both the same, we'll just go ahead and uh, uh, review this one trailer here. So let's take, let me get the camera out here. Get a nice close-up shot. And as you can see, a really, really nice looking trailer. Uh, we have the reflector decals along the bottom. We have some nice uh, legible printing right there. Uh, unfortunately, my camera is not uh, will it focus. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can see the uh, nice small printing right there on the front. And we come around to the back and uh, we have some real nice details there. Uh, let's see if there's anything on the back. Uh, nothing on the back. But, well, I say that. Uh, we, have the, uh, we have the number up here on the top corner right there again nice reflective decals nice looking tail lights right here um, and it does have a little hook for you to hook a uh, bogey trailer to connect the two trailers with that so that's really really nice uh, let's go ahead and turn this trailer around take a look at the other side again looks really really good uh, the UPS shield is really vibrant uh, of course, UPS freight in big bold letters. Uh, we have the uh, jack stands for the trailer down here. Um, let's go ahead and turn it over and see what the underside looks like. And uh, you know, really, you know, not a whole lot of details, but still, this is a really, really nice trailer. And the wheels do, and the wheels do spin, by the way. So, you know, let's see. So you can, it does have some play value to it. Uh, but really, um, 
these trailers, like I said, not a lot of deep, not a lot of separately applied details. The doors don't open, um, but I'm okay with that. Uh, like I always say, the less details, the better. It adds play value to them. Uh, one thing you might have to do: uh, these little lights right up here on top, you may have to paint them red. Uh, I notice they're not painted, so uh, so a little red paint match the tail lights down here would we'll go a real long way uh, and there's some little marker lights right up here they're a little hard to see but uh, you may have to get some paint and paint those as well so but other than that you know aside from a little bit of pain a little bit of model work these are really really nice trailers um, they look good uh, they're not overly detailed where you have to handle them with kid gloves all the time. Uh, they will take a little bit of abuse. I don't recommend just bashing them because like anything else, they will break. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, stick both of these in this car here and see how they look. So we'll put that one in there. And again, I'm going to have to put the camera down. We'll use my dash a here for a camera holder and we'll just go ahead and stick this other trailer on here so let's see how they look uh, make sure it's all lined up I believe it is and just fit in there just like that and the little uh, hitches there so looks like all's good there whoops it's not in the hitch right there so we'll have to move that one back just a little there we go now we got her and let's let's zoom out and take a look and boy i tell you what um i know i originally bought these things to uh for a uh, another freight car i have a, a 89 or a pair of 89 foot uh, flat cars with the uh, triple hitches on it, which are designed to carry these trailers. Uh, but boy, I'm telling you, this uh, they look really good in this car. Uh, I may be tempted to order a fourth set or keep this set and order three more sets for the uh, for the other two cars. Uh, these look really, really good in this car um, so yeah if you're looking for some nice loads these run about 20 25 bucks a pair uh, so they're not just overly expensive I mean they're not real cheap but um, but really I, I think it's a pretty good buy uh, Waller certainly did a nice job uh, uh, their intermodal equipment is always top-notch uh, whether it be their well cars like this one, of course, this one's about 20 years old, so uh, it order that order tell you how good they hold up. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, Walters always does a real nice job with their intermodal equipment. Um, they last forever. Uh, they can they can take some abuse, so. Uh, really nice trailers. Anyway, we'll go ahead and wrap this review up on these uh, UPS 26-foot trailers. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, as always, stay safe and happy mollering. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button too for the uh, for the uh, algorithms on YouTube. Uh, uh, I certainly do appreciate all the subscribers and uh, all the people watch these videos. And uh, like I said, I hope you all have a good one. And uh, be sure to have fun, folks. Have a good one.